Um, this is our fifth Grow Club. I don't know if we mentioned that or not. Um, but really excited to actually be having our fifth one, continue hosting it here at the Men's of the Moon. Um, and over the past year, we have worked on bringing in someone to um, serve as a sponsor, but also be a presenter of things that would be of value to you all um, and things that we can learn from it. So, Today, we have got two wonderful sponsors, but we're going to first start with Fast Signs and Mr. Ken Baxter. I know some of you are in his BNI group and know him personally and have <coughs> used him in the past, um, but Ken is a Florida native. I don't know how many of you can say that. Is there anyone else in this room? Okay, there's a couple. So he is a Florida native, and he is the owner of Fast Signs in Lake Worth, and he's been there since 1999, so that's been quite a bit of time. Um, high value, full service, uh, sign manufacturing, franchise servicing, primarily South Florida, but also provides service um, statewide to key customers. And so he's got a quick presentation for you all. We thank you for being here and taking part. Welcome back, actually. Thanks, Laura. I appreciate that. And um, as, as Laura had said, I really appreciate the opportunity to be here to present to all of you business owners. And my goal today is to hopefully be able to just get you to be a little bit more aware of the visual image that's presented in your business, in front of your business. Um, when you go out and you go to present to groups like we're doing today, you know, what is the visual image that you present out there? That speaks a lot to the type of business that you run. So I'm going to try to hopefully give you some information that will help you become more aware and analyze what you're doing within your own business about your visual image with your sign company. Um, as Laura had said, I have, um, I worked in healthcare for 17 years. I have a master's in healthcare administration and I ran rehabilitation facilities throughout South Florida. And um, after about 17 years, I started to look to say, what other business can I do? How can I own my own business? So I bought this business, which had been operating for nine years. It's a sign manufacturing franchise. And I have now been running that for the past 23 years uh, in, with this business. So um, it's been fortunate to be here. I'm also going to point out that back in 2019, um, early 2019, I actually first met Arif and started working with him. And from the, one of the sessions I attended with him, realized I had a lot of gaps in my knowledge, even though as a franchise, I have support from that franchise for training and education that I still had gaps and I turned to him to say help me improve and recognize what I did with my business. Um, he was very helpful in uh, helping me be able to do that and I will tell you that this last year in 2023 we had our most not only highest growth but our most financially successful year ever in my 23 years of being here. So with that being said. Um, a little bit about this. I elected to go into this business from healthcare and decided to find a business and I found this because I realized in all the healthcare facilities that I would open and set up, I always use fast signs in South Florida to help me open those to guide me to say what kind of sign do I need, what can I do, how do I do this. So I turned to fast signs to go do that. So that guides me a lot about how I run my business. Um, from that uh, it was clear to me that in buying a business and looking for a business that uh, a sign company in a down economy is one of the biggest things that you can do to help get your business visible and to grow and to look good. As well, if it's in a booming economy, people need signs. So I said, God, how can this fail? This is a great thing. Not as easy as that as we all know in our own businesses to be able to run a business. Um, Signs make a lot of difference. If you don't do the right kind of sign and what you do, it represents what your business looks like. So uh, just giving you a little bit of example there. So in these 23 years of running my business, uh, we've been through a lot of different things and how we've run and what we've done in economic downturn and that sort of thing. Um, we had to kind of turn and pivot to be able to do some things to help us be able to navigate and get through a lot of the business and a lot of the work that we were doing. Uh, so I train my staff to ask the questions when a customer comes and approaches us to say, do you have an idea of the image that you want to portray? 
What is your budget? Do you understand from a municipality standpoint uh, what you're allowed to do? What are you allowed to have in your business? And I'll give an example of that in a little bit. Um, in uh, economic downturn, this is some example of information that was kind of sent out um, that says this is the most important time for you to do visual marketing and visual advertising because you need to portray a business that's strong, that's reputable, and knows what it's doing. So statistically, it says this is the biggest time that you need to be doing that kind of advertising. I'm showing some examples right now of the value of a sign and uh, some statistics that kind of show that, but ultimately, new startups, new businesses, the visual image that you portray out there of your business tells a lot about how your business runs, um, you know, can people find you, do they understand that you're open, and it's not only at the front of your business, many of you have businesses that are mobile, that are not necessarily there, but if you go out and you present, there's things you can do, if you go to an event, there's things that you can do and bring with you. There's things and signs you can do inside your business to help customers recognize um, from a point of purchase standpoint, services that you offer and uh, different things that'll help them in working with you within your business. I wanna kinda just give you some examples because of what we do with the business that we do uh, with my particular store. We work very hard at developing customer relationships, and so as a result of that, we're able to kind of grow our, our business and where we go. This is an example. This is one of our customers, and this started from a relationship that somebody came into us from Duffy's Corporate, Julie in the back here, who's here with me, worked with them and sold them Banner. And they started coming back to us for a little bit here, a little bit there and eventually we gain their trust and their confidence to say we can work with you for everything you do. One of the strengths of Fast Signs franchise, of my franchise, is we know business owners that own Fast Signs around the, around the state. And so I can work with them to help with permitting, to help with installation if we need it. So we were able to capitalize that to be able to work with Duffy's across the state. We also needed to kind of figure out how to pivot when businesses um, you know, went down at the beginning of 2020. And one of the things we did, we had just gotten some new technology. So as part of the franchise, we're educated in all the newest technology, the newest services, the newest products, the newest materials that can be used to work within the sign industry. So it's one of the strengths that we have um, as a business. Having 23 years experience as a sign manufacturer, I know all of the permitting guidelines, the requirements, materials, that sort of thing that we can use for a, a business. So this is an example. We had just ordered a new piece of printing technology that we got literally like March 5th. COVID really hit around March 15th. We had somebody come in to us because they wanted to recognize a high school students at Wellington High School and said, can you do some yard signs for us? Because we had this new technology, I was able to um, offer very inexpensive signage uh, that we could do for those students. As a result of that, the principal there spread our name to other principals. We ended up doing all of these yard signs for all the graduates dur during 2020 for most of the high schools throughout Palm Beach County. Where are we going here? Okay. I also talked about our experience in 23 years and one of the things we do is we build up good relationships with vendors and as a result of that we're able to um, do services that a lot of companies can't do. This is an example of a banner that we did down in um, Aventura for a hospital that we're able to work with. So this gives an example of why you might work with us and what we're doing. These are examples of signage that the type of signage we can do. Let me give you some quick examples. One of these is familiar back here. Uh, Dr. Dean's got his store up here. These were examples of people that came to us and said, we need to get our logo, our image at the front of our store. Can you help us? This is an example of a customer that came to us and said, I want my letters as big as I can possibly get. Because we painted 
the black mark that's up there on the left and the right, we painted that whole area, that the city of Boca accepted that as larger square footage, allowing us to make larger letters. And it was just by the fact that we came up with painting that to help get that done. These are examples of customers that said, take my visual image of my logo, I want us to look professional both inside and outside. This was an example of a customer, sorry I'm speeding along because of my time. This is an example of a customer that came to us and said, we've got this dingy whole shopping center, we need to make this look better so we look more professional. Can you help us do that? We added new LED, repainted, added new consistent lettering, and as a result, they're getting better clients in that shopping center. If you look over to your right over there, you'll see that boat sitting out there. They came to us and said, we need to figure out how to paint this section, get the stuff up on the section. We did these graphics on here to work with Margaritaville to get those graphics up, and we saved them a lot of money because to paint that was a lot more expensive than us adding graphics. So now as a result, we're working with them with all their signage for Margaritaville. This was a customer that came to us and said, we need to, when people come in and get their MRI, make them feel more relaxed and more comfortable. Can you help us? Oh, by the way, the technician is a big golfer. This was an attorney that was up in Palm Beach Gardens Mall and they had um, their windows and they said, we have no visibility here. Can you help get our brand and our logo visible throughout the shopping center? So we added these window graphics. We had some healthcare locations come to us and say, we want to get our mission, we want to look more high tech, more professional. Help us create that look. Another one, I'm going to go to uh, one of our members in here who came to me and said, um, we want to kind of take our new logo, get our new logo visible inside here, and we want to also add that we want to match the decor and the wood that's in the decor. Can you help us with that? And finally, these are some other customers that said, we really want to kind of add our, our image, our logo, our look in our business. One of these uh, sitting over there is Jen. That's her husband's concierge medicine. Um, that was getting her visual out there. So in conclusion, um, these kind of give you some examples of some of the work that we can do as a company and how important your visual image is. Um, you're going to find on your desk, you'll see this here, and if you do a, um, a QR code, if you just kind of hit that QR code, it'll draw you right to me, my information if you need it. As well, if you <clears throat> look at the bottom here, if you have one of these sheets, Laura, if you can call out a number. Number 36. If anybody has 36, you are the winner of the elf. You can take that elf home with you. Ten minutes goes fast. I really appreciate the opportunity to come out here and present with you guys. Um, wish you luck. Arif and his team will do a great job in helping you with your business. Thank you.